I get asked this question a decent amount. Um, am I disciplined because I was in the Navy or am I disciplined because I am disciplined? And I, I don't know. What do you think? I think I think the training that you received in the Navy certainly certainly helped uh, uh, is my belief. Um, and and I think goals are important. You know, I mean, if 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 you have no goals in your life, nothing that's meaningful and purposeful for you to work toward, what the hell are you going to be disciplined about? You know, I mean, uh, you're going to be kind of like just just drifting one way or the other. So I think. Uh, you know, people that have specific goals, you know, your goal to be a SEAL, your goal once you were um, a SEAL to, you know, be a, a SEAL commander, et cetera, et cetera, kind of sets you up to be more disciplined about achieving those goals. So uh, I, I think it's probably a little bit of, of both, uh, but I do think the path you chose and those goals you had uh, probably did a lot to help you become a, a very self-disciplined person. And you think that's the same for you then? Well, um, I do. I, I, I think if I didn't take the path I, I, I did by, by getting into the Army, uh, I probably wouldn't have had the benefit of those NCOs and, and other role models who showed me that hey, in order to achieve something, you really got to work hard for it. Now, yeah, when I was growing up as a kid, you know, my, my dad, my, my family tried to show me those things. Uh, so I, I think it's, you know, now that I'm thinking of it, it's, it's kind of, I think, uh, building blocks along the way in your life. You know, you're going to learn some of that from your family. And then, you know, I'm a big believer in sports. You know, you play sports, like, you know, I played some sports in high school, and you have to be disciplined in order to get out there on a field and not get yourself beat up, right? Uh, and, and then, you know, you, you, you join the military, and again, you've got to show some discipline in order to, because you know people are counting on you mm -hmm. in, in, in order to achieve what, what, what you want to in, in that regard. So I think it's really like a building block as you go through your life. And some people are fortunate to have role models and, and, and mentors in their life who are going to show them why discipline is important. Mm -hmm. And then you just continue with it. Yeah, I think I was, I don't know if this is lucky or unlucky. I was lucky in the fact that I wasn't really great at anything. <laughs> when I got to the SEAL teams, if I didn't work hard, I was going to look like an idiot. <laughs> and I didn't want to look like an idiot, and I didn't want to let my teammates down. So I had to just work hard to be ready for stuff. <laughs> that's, that's definitely the That definitely influenced my path quite a bit. I think if I would have been a natural, a naturally gifted athlete, I would I probably would have had less discipline. I would have needed as much discipline. But but the other thing you gotta remember is people get out of the SEAL teams and sometimes they're even still in the SEAL teams and they you know they, they let themselves go. They don't practice, they don't train, they get out of shape. Yeah. Um you know it's so just because you were in the military, just because you were in the SEAL teams or whatever you did, and you gotta maintain that discipline. That discipline is not it's not a chip that they put into your brain that now you got it you don't have to worry about it anymore no no you still got to go yeah you, you know jack and I, I i do think that's why purpose is so important and, and those goals are so important because the same at ranger school you know uh you know you get you get that ranger tab and that's when the hard work should start because now you've got to prove it every day that i i deserve to have this ranger tab on my shoulder and i and i see it uh, you know, folks I know that, that went to Ranger School and now they're out of the military and they kind of just like let themselves go. And, and I, it's probably because they don't have that, that purpose anymore or that goal anymore. And uh, I, I, I think that's uh, an unfortunate thing. And that's why purpose is so important. That's why I think leaders have to uh, be able to communicate purpose to their followers so their followers understand. And I know you talk about this in your Dichotomy of Leadership book. You know, so, so people understand, why am I doing this thing that the leader has told me to do? Well, if you don't explain the purpose, the leaders aren't, or the, the followers aren't going to get it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah.